that youth crime that you were indicating, that from 2017, the, the gun cases were 275, 2018, 210 arrests, in 2021, 470, and, 200, uh, and 450, rather, in 2022. So th those aren't anecdotal numbers. Um, and I know this is more of a statement, but we were, we, I asked OCA before some of the family court uh, numbers, they didn't have them. So I think that's something that we certainly would like to see. I don't know if you folks keep track of referrals to family court or if that's more of a DCJS thing, but if you could compile any of that information, I think that would be very helpful to us. Um, as far as those recidivism rates that you had mentioned, um, that, uh, you know, New York has a recidivist problem. Do those, um, do, 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 how are you classifying as, you know, I guess you said five or more. Um, are these ultimate convictions or just re-arrests um, that you're actually classifying as recidivist? I guess it's more re-arrests. Can I re classify, but, well, uh, are you specifically talking about the 2,000 people that we're talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. those, please. So um, again, when we look at it in different ways, we sort of filter down to a similarly ballpark small number. Um, so we've looked at it both in terms of um, arraignments and cases coming in through the system. We've looked at it in terms of cases exiting the system, so cases that are resolved. Um, mm -hmm. We've looked at it in terms of individual people, um, in terms of unique NICEDs, and we've also linked it um, for the first time with um, uh, the PD with arrest data, so we're able to look at sort of individual arrests. Got it. And we see that fairly small concentration, sort of regardless of, of how we cut the data, which, you know, as, as this is something that's not unique to you, New York, in that, you know, we expect to see a small concentration of crime. It's just sort of how do we kind of align the way that we're looking at it um, so that, that we can be on the same page and, and aligning. Okay. Sure. And, and, you know, Director Logan, you said a lot of the things I said in my opening statement. It was remarkable. I looked at your testimony. And I, said, I didn't even cheat off of it. I didn't even see it. But um, with all that in mind, do you have statistics on cleared cases? Because OCA doesn't track cleared cases as far as they've also indicated, of course, these, and while you're looking for them, Chief, with well, these uh, upticks in crime. And I see these numbers here that are in the testimony that they went from 41 percent to 62 percent. Case, dismiss case dismissals for misdemeanors, 48% to 74%. And those numbers include, I guess, um, covered by another case as well, or even ACDs. I was in the 50 range, 54 or so were the DCJS numbers, for other reason, dismissals, 30-30 or what it may be. So can you tell us as far as cleared cases, because those aren't accounted for as well in the DCJS numbers that was, we discussed before. Right, so, so you're, you're talking about clearance rates? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, so, not cleared by arrest. I'm oh. saying maybe ex cleared or otherwise cases. Well, let me put it this way. I'm, I'm imagining some of these situations right over here in Albany, the CVS speaking to the cashier before they closed, where you had to now go get a little piece of cardboard and bring it to the cashier to get your razor blades because they said, oh, we don't, we're, we don't deal with it. When somebody comes in and steals something, they just run out. We don't even call cops. You know, or so the whodunits, the ones that aren't cleared by arrest, I guess. Um, or baited by death, something like that. Do you have any numbers on those cases that wouldn't otherwise hit the DCJS system where people are complaining, there's a victim, you get a CC number, and you basically say, it's a whodunit and the case remains open forever? Well, I, I mean, I could, I could just give you um, just my experience, and I'll just give you, let's just say, robberies, right? So if you look at robberies in New York City last year, uh, we, we cleared about 35% of those robberies. Now, there's also a lot of people that are wanted for those robberies, right? So when I look at robberies that we haven't cleared, but I know that there's somebody that's wanted for that robbery, we then go to about 40%. And that number will get, as the investigations continue, that number uh, will, will grow. So, Got it. So, so there, I hope I answered your question. I think you did. So they're open investigations, but there no one's been either charged or arrested. That is correct. Got it. Okay. That's correct. Thank you all. Madam Tell me welcome.